Welcome to the YouTube channel Trucks and Other Stuff. Today I wanted to give sort of an uh, introduction to uh, a new, um, new series that I'm going to be doing. So stay tuned for that. Alright, this is Trucks and Other Stuff and this new series is about the repair shop work. So we're here, we're here at Ironwood Christian Camp, and I work in the, the, the auto shop, and uh, we do a number of different things. Um, we fix a number of different types of vehicles, mainly Jeeps, a lot of Chevy trucks, and every once in a while I get to, do, get to work on some heavy equipment. Um, so that's sort of the series that I'm starting. A lot of time lapses are going to happen uh, of, of uh, working in vehicles. That's mostly what it's going to be. Um, because of the scenario, I cannot videotape um, very well doing hands-on with the camera. It takes up too much time, and that's not what I need to be doing during work. So I'm going to be doing time lapses, and they're a lot of fun. You get to see a lot of things, um, um, a lot of ve different vehicles, a lot of different types of situations. Um, so that's sort of an overview of what's going to be happening in this series. Um, I think you'll enjoy. I hope you do. Uh, today, what we're going to be working on is to just taking off the belt. Uh, there are two belts on this telehandler. It's a cat telehandler. Um, it's a two-liter engine, cat engine, two V-belts. And one is already off, has been off for a while, and today we're going to take off another one. It's actually a pretty difficult um, uh, a difficult process. What's up? I can't say that. It wasn't that hard. It was just not as easy as a lot of cars. Like you, you uh, pry on the tensioner, and then it just comes right off. This I had to um, take out the ma the mounting bolts for the for the radiator, tilt it back some so I could get around the fan because of where the belt was located. So that's what's going to happen today. Um, I'll show you uh, time lapse of that happening, and then I'll show the actual belt and the damage that was done already to it and why it needed to replace. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, I, I, I enjoyed making this video. Thanks.
this is why we're replacing this belt. Look at that. This is a V-belt too. And some ser serpentine belts. It's okay to have some cracking as long as it's not all the way across. But this is most certainly bad. Look at that. Lovely, right? Yep. All right, thanks for watching the first video in this series um, of uh, vehicle maintenance and uh, repair here at Ironwood Christian Camp. I hope you enjoy the series. If you did uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel for more videos of repair work. And uh, I hope you have a good day and I uh, hope you come back for more. Thanks for watching.